Hello fellow Guardians! With a little under a week left before the Rise of Iron, we thought we'd give you some tips on how to prepare for Destiny's new DLC. First up, save all of your exotic and legendary Ingram. The hope is that the Ingrams will decrypt to light levels close to yours as they did with the April update. Also, hopefully you'll be able to get new exotics, but we'll have to see. It's probably best to wait until you're higher level to decrypt the Ingrams so that you gain the maximum benefit from them. Best places to farm exotic Ingrams include the Challenge of Elders, the King's Fall Raid, Heroic Strike, and the Crucible. Remember to pop those three of coins before fighting an Ultra or participating in the Crucible. Otherwise, you can just stockpile three of coins for the expansion itself. Another tip is edging your faction reputation. To do this, get your factions to the point where they are about to level. On top of just edging your factions, you'll probably want to stockpile heavy ammo synthesis, motes of light, and other resources you could use to level up your faction. Packages should give you the chance to upgrade your light. Remember, packages in the Rise of Iron will now give you the ability to choose between a weapon or an armor piece. This will be a good chance to upgrade your light. Factions that will net you these items include the Future War Cult, Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, The Vanguard, The Crucible, The Gunsmith, Heirs Morn, as well as The Queen's Wrath and The House of Judgment in The Reef. Remember, max out your legendary marks. If you're lucky enough to have saved your Trials of Osiris quests, you'll have easy access to 50 marks. You can also level up and save as many pre-existing legendaries you got from year 2. This way, when you dismantle them, they'll dismantle for 5 legendary marks. Also, if you're already capped on legendary marks, you can start spending those on buying planetary materials. This way, you'll have the ability to upgrade your new armor and weapons come Rise of Iron. Assuming you're an active player, it's quite easy to replenish your marks. I tend to buy about 40 to 60 materials at a time, which is about 30 marks. Another solid tip is to save up some completed high experience quests. You can get a leg up on upgrading your items and reputations by having some of these quests already completed. One I highly recommend if you have it is to finish Shaq's weekly quest, The True Meaning of War. You would need to have finished the mountaintop quest line to get this though. The quest reward should yield you a good light level reward when you decide to turn it in. Again, it's probably best to wait till the end of the week as you'll be higher level before you turn this in. Chances are you won't be PvPing the first week, especially if you're getting ready for the raid, so having this quest done already is very valuable. Other things to start hoarding up include weapon parts, armor materials, exotic shards, motes of light, and strange coins. You might as well do some house cleaning while you're at it. Clearly you can tell I have a hoarding problem. You should probably start getting rid of some of your older items or items you no longer use to clear out space in your vault for the Rise of Iron. For those trying to get up to speed light level wise, my best advice is to do Heroic Strikes, the Nightfall, Challenge of Elders, and the King's Fall Raid if possible. Use Bungie's Fireteam Finder through their website, or use community sites like Reddit and DestinyLFG.com or .net. Of course, all these tips are to min-max for the coming release of Rise of Iron. The most important thing to remember is to have fun. If you're feeling burnt out, it might just be time to take a break before the actual release and enjoy it day one. Stay tuned, Guardians, to GameSpot for more coverage of Destiny's new expansion, Rise of Iron. Excellent teamwork.